Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTNHD, and today is a video request from Jessica. And she basically writes uh, that she wants to know how to build a mirrored server, one to be replicated of the other. If one server fell, the other server just takes over while users not even noticing the first server has been uh, felt. So, uh, server 2012 R2 is the way that she wants to do it. I believe that's the way I'm going to show you guys how to do it. And uh, my environment consists of four machines. I have my domain controller. I got my node one and my node two. And then I got an iSCSI. Now, the reason why I have an iSCSI is because is because to do cluster failover, which is the feature or the role that we need to install within our server 2012 for this to work properly, we need to configure SCSI 3 persistent reservation. Now, what is a SCSI 3 PR? Now, is it, it's required input output fencing that resolves the issues of using SCSI reservations in a cluster SAN environment. Now, SCSI 3 PR enables access from multiple nodes to a device and simultaneously block access for other nodes. Okay. Now, I try to do FreeNAS and I was trying to get FreeNAS to work properly. I got it set up with no problem with iSCSI target. For some reason, I went online with the errors that I were receiving and it looks like FreeNAS does not support SCSI 3 PR. Uh, I tried OpenFiler. OpenFiler again it looks like everything was working i was able to connect with iSCSI uh, as a target within my my server node uh, i was able to configure all my hard drives the way i supposed to configure configure it on a cluster server but it didn't want to uh, connect uh, i did some searching and it looks like starwind software allows you to do this now the way that they work is there's an application a free application that you can actually sign up on their website get the free version uh, it will only allow you to install two nodes which is great for me because that's what i'm going to be doing and it creates like a virtual dummy file of an ice uh, a nice scuzzy but it also allows you to do the scuzzy 3 the pr version so let's get started so uh, on this video i'm going to show you guys how i configured uh my iSCSI 3 uh, now, when you want to create your cluster server, your failover server, which are two nodes, you have to understand you need at least three hard drives for this to work. Uh, I, I, and I think the maximum size should be five gigs or more. Most likely, if you're doing this for a file server, you really, uh, hopefully you're not doing the five gigs. So let's open up the manager. And the manager is so simple to build. Uh, it's one of those things that I really, really enjoyed using this uh, this server. Okay, so once you have your Starwind Management Console up and running, uh, you want to connect to your your node, uh, or in you want to connect to your local machine. And when, once you connect to your local machine, you're going to have add device. So we're going to add a device. Now with the free version, you're only going to be able to do a virtual hard disk. So let's create a new virtual hard disk. We want to do a image file. Hit next. And we want to create a new virtual disk. And let's drop it into our E drive. Now I created a partition drive. As you guys are going to see right now. I created a partition drive. Real small partition drive. Because I'm going to be creating three virtual dummies. Five gigs of each. Which gives me the core requirements of what I need for my cluster. You know you need at least three hard drives or more. For the cluster to work so i'm gonna drop these files in here and we're gonna call this one data one img you gotta make sure that you put the extension or it won't work and i'm gonna give it five gigs you want to do a compressed hit next uh leave everything as default hit next you want to do a write back caching we're gonna hit next on this one and uh, the alias would be my uh, my drive, my drive one. Give it the target name, and you do want to allow multiple concurrent iSCSI connections. This is what you need. Clustering, uh, free NAS and open filer did not allow the iSCSI connections to do this. And we're gonna hit next, and we're gonna hit next, and finish. So that is our first node which is awesome 
and uh, we're going to create two more virtual hard drives. So we're going to do it again. Virtual hard disk next, and uh, image file device. Create a new virtual disk, and we're going to drop it at the same location. But this time we're just going to give it uh, data two, and we're going to hit OK. We're going to get it five gigs compressed. Hit next. Uh, hit next. Hit next. And we're going to give this one, I believe, I, I forgot what I called it. There it goes. And we're going to add our next one. S same procedure. You're going to create that. We're going to drop it in our same location. Most likely, guys, you probably have your own SAN on NAS that you're able to create an iSCSI target uh, configuration. But you have to understand that your iSCSI has to support uh persistence reservation if it doesn't support that your cluster will not work and i'm just basically going the same the same procedures as the other two nothing special make sure you enable your target name because this is what your scuzzy initializer is going to view when you add these drives within your um your cluster server and that's it guys that is how you add your three iSCSI targets now I think in the next video I'm going to show you guys how to add them into your server and then uh, the following videos I'm going to show you guys how to start working on the cluster side so hopefully you guys enjoy and I'll catch you guys later peace out